Um, did you decide to design the expedition after Maui's expedition and then find him? Or unlike? the first, the discovery was took place in 1999. It was a specific expedition to find. George Mallory, and it was on the 1st of May that I discovered his uh, frozen and well-preserved body uh, at about 26,500 feet on Everest. And then we came back in 2007 to work on a film with um, Atlantic Productions and Anthony Geffen uh, regarding the, um, the Mallory and Irvin expedition. And to get that film, um, to do it in period clothing, to get an idea of what it was like to climb in 1924. I was just wondering, like, what, what was the condition of it? That was, the, the, what you see in the film is very accurate. And how, so does, the, how does that happen? I mean, the way it preserved, like I said, yeah. it looked like eggshell, it looked like mannequin almost. Yeah. It was um, mummified, so to say, um, because it's always cold and very dry, so it's freeze dried over a period of 75 years, and then the um, ravens that live at that altitude, it was a, a source of... Um, of food for them, so they had um, um, entered in through his right buttock and um, uh, through the bone of his pelvis, and then had, they had eaten the food that was there and continued the circle of life. So it was, was it understood that he had some of it? Was only understood that he was lost, and then after they found the body, I guess they've reached this conclusion. Or well, there's a possibility that they could have made it to the summit, and. My view is that I'm not going to be the person that answers that unequivocally. I'm not a court of law. It's, it's great to have mysteries. And humans, we need these stories of, of, of an epic tale. And it goes back as far as Homer and the Odyssey and stories before then where people left the comfort of hearth and home and went out for a big challenge and then came back with a tale where they died doing it. And with Mallory, it's good that we take away from his story of what it was like and what the uh, importance of uh, the need to go explore is. Yeah, the moment where you slip a yeah. little. Was that as close a call as it plays on film? I mean, a film you want to play for the big drama. Yeah, that was, that. it was not scripted, it was not a stunt. I mean, that was, I could have pulled the belay and fallen to my death. So it was, it was real climbing and it was different. Having the ladder there and not having the ladder there. In 99, the ladder was there and I had to go at it. But knowing that that escape hatch is right there changes the, the difficulty of it. Psychologically, you know you can't just reach over and grab that ladder. How many times have you peeped over us? Two times. Two times. In 1999 and 2007. Does that moment, I mean, it's got to be the dream of every climber. To, to, I mean, that's, that's it, isn't it? Is it as gratifying as you'd hope? I mean, did the moment live up to your expectations? At the time, it didn't, because in both times I've been there, it, it's been cold, it's snowy, you're hypoxic, you're miserable, you're suffering, and there is a moment of joy. I mean, I thought, naively, the first time I went there, I would, like, stand on top of the world. I'd look up to this deep blue, going to purple sky, and look right to the heavens and be as high as you could be, and there wouldn't be a cloud in the sky, and the finale of Beethoven's Ninth would play in my mind, and it'd be this great, life-changing moment. But it wasn't. I was there, I was suffering, I felt miserable, and my partner was tired, and you want to get down. But the enjoyment, the enjoyment comes in the recollection afterwards, and with many things that are difficult in life, um, whether it's um, someone that passes their bar, uh, the legal examination, when they're doing it, are they having fun? No. Are they having fun in the preparation of it? No, but afterwards, then they enjoy it. And that's human psychology is to, we reward ourselves afterwards with a psychological thank you, so to say. So now I'm enjoying having been on Everest because we get to meet and chat about it. But at the time I was cold and it was, it was, it, it, it's not a pleasant